Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Rumble. Um, just to let you know, I try to teach Parasect some new moves. I only got Hidden Power, which is a Bug-type move for him. That's a little bit stronger than his last Bug-type move, but I was hoping to do Grass-type move, but that didn't happen. So, we're gonna switch to Executor, which is a grass psychic Pokemon. Pretty interesting type, but I won't ask myself. And he does have a, uh, uh, grass type move, so we're gonna go into Bright Beach. Yeah, it's a little bit of a slow move. I mean, not it's a quick charge, but it takes a while to actually hit the Pokemon, but seems to be doing pretty good so far. Executor was all another Pokemon that I was like, in my Pokemon playthroughs, just that I wanted to get, but I don't know, it's just something that like I never actually used because. You know, like, Pokemon like him don't come until, like, later on in the game, and I already have, you know, the team I want, or whatever. And whenever I do want to replace Pokemon, it's kind of hard to figure out which one I want to replace. Sometimes it isn't, though. I mean, it's just like, oh, well, obviously, this person is not doing so well at all, so let switch them out. But, yeah, as I was saying that like, last time, the Toad guy, I still can't, I haven't looked that up, actually, the... Poison fighting type was one. It's basically the same thing with Executor, I guess. Here's some uh, Forcia, just regular water types. Um, they're pretty cool. They look cool. I like how they look. I'm pretty sure they're first generation. And wow, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, this this move seems to be doing pretty well. Um. I can't really remember what the boss of this area is, but not like I'll tell you anyways. I mean, I did kind of tell you that Raichu was the boss of the last area last time, but that was only because I was really kind of scared of that. <laughs> but, yeah. I get some Goldeen here, which is a... Uh, I don't know if that Pokemon is good or not. All I know is that's pretty bad in Smash Brothers. Cause like so whenever you get a Goldeen and Smash Brothers, they're just like, oh, we got Psyduck. He's cool too. He has a pretty interesting type. He's like Executor, I guess. I mean, he's Water and Psychic. And there's a, uh, what's his name? Seedra. Yeah, it's evolved form of Forcia. Uh, Goldeen has an evolved form. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if we'll be seeing that later on this one. Maybe, I'm not sure if that was. If that was the later generation or not, because I know Goldeen is a first generation Pokemon. Actually, yeah, this is no, I don't know. That might that that might be Goldeen's evolved form right there, actually. And here's a Gold Duck evolved form of Psyduck. He's no longer Water Psychic. Actually, I'm not sure if Gold. Actually, uh, what's his face? Psyduck. May he may only be water. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that in a second once this Sea King gets away from me. There we go. Let me check. No, he, yeah, he's just water. Okay. I think it's just that people think he's a psychic type. Obviously, it's because Psyduck. I'm pretty sure he does learn psychic moves, though, or he can teach him psychic moves, like in actual Pokemon games. Which is pretty cool. I mean, it makes sense. His name is Psyduck. Um, still nothing too new. I mean, it's more gold ducks. I think, um, maybe, no, because I kind of think I might have wanted the Psyduck once in a Pokemon game, but I don't know, something changed my mind. I do remember in Pokemon Pearl those annoying Psyducks that had headaches or whatever, that were like blocking away. Basically, that Snorlax of that game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Snorlax blocked your way. And, uh,. One of the other Pokemon games, and you had to wait a little bit to actually get him out of the way before you could actually advance in the game. It was pretty annoying, and but you could actually like catch him though. I'm pretty sure in Pearl and Diamond or whatever you can actually catch the Psyducks, which is kind of lame. Seeing that there was, I'm pretty sure you can. Well, actually, you know, you probably could find Psyducks around the area. I don't know though. 
I think I remember using Snorlax and Leaf Green once. Oh, here's the boss, actually. I can't even... T oh, I think I know what it is. Yeah, you'll see in a second. This is actually an interesting Pokemon. Human-shaped Pokemon Jinx. Yeah, Jinx is an ice and something else type, because I can't remember right now. Um, but yeah, that's good, because ice is not super effective against uh, grass. So she won't be doing too much damage to us, I would think, anyway. But she is a boss, so you never know that the Pikachus are doing high damage to Graveler for some reason. So, or at least a lot of damage to him, anyways. Um, yeah, interesting thing about Jinx, you can... Well, it's not really interesting, because it's kind of self-explanatory, just because she looks like a woman. Um, you can only find a female version in, in the Pokemon games. You can't find a male version at all. It's always 100% chan chance to find a female version. And it killed us. Yeah. I guess that super effective thing didn't really help. Anyway, well, it, well it's you seeking. He's, she's almost dead. And there we go. That's it. And we went, we went through her, too. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> nope. Oh, well. That's fine. Lots of money, though. Alright, we can't change what actually can we? I don't think we can. Yeah, it's dead. Um, so yeah, we got some water types. And that means that we could probably do good in fiery furnace. Oh, there's most powerful tied again. Let's try to teach one of our water types. The good water type move. Oh yeah, he's a flying move, that's odd. But whatever. Mm. Might as well try to teach Goldine something, I guess. Because, I mean, she is our most powerful Pokemon, or he, what a, it. Whatever. Mud Slap. Oh, it's a ground move. Hmm. Well, that might change of where I think we should go. Um. Eh, let's do Rocky Cave. Yeah, horn attack. Oh, wow, that guy is pretty high level. I think that's the minimum we need for. Oh, also pretty high level. Wow. Um, oh, some Diglets here. I like a Diglet. Um, that guy's low level. <laughs> um, yeah, horn attack is just a physical attack. I don't think we've used many physical attacks, so we'll, we'll try to get, see how far we can get a full team like this. Yeah, you can mud slap as I used earlier, puts down your ratio, but Mudslap isn't that great of a move, honestly. And I don't think I've actually ever missed before, except for like on the bosses when they're doing that charge attack. Oh, wow. Yeah, those guys are doing pretty good on me. Um, still want to see how far we can get. I mean, I don't think we should have a problem losing lives or whatever, so. And there's Doug Trio, the evolved form of, uh. Whatever his name is. Diglett. Just gonna use Executor. Because, obviously, he's super effective. Oh, and there's Onyx. That's pretty cool. He's the evolved form of nothing. He's just. <laughs> no, he does evolve, though. Um, th I think there's a special way to evolve them though. Um, I'm just gonna skip over those guys. Ahead of them, why not just go ahead? <laughs> oh man. And some more Doug Trios here. They, they seem to be pretty powerful. They took down my like, Goldine pretty easily. Some, uh, Ball Form of Sand Shirt here. Sand Slash. I remember trying to use the Sand Slash in my Pokemon Pro playthrough, and that didn't really work out that well. Rhyhorn. From what I've heard, that Rhyhorn is a pretty good Pokemon, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure that Dog Tree was using Dig. It looks like it, though, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Seed Bomb's doing pretty good. Ow. Hmm. 
some gold bats. Evolve form of Zubat. I'm not sure if we actually saw Zubat earlier, but that's the evolved form of him. <laughs> and he's charging rock throw or something. Get rid of them as quick as we can because Rock Crow seemed to Rock Throw seemed to do pretty good on us last time. So I wanna get away from that. Oh, that's just pretty cool. I mean I like how he's designed and stuff. He's a pretty cool Pokemon. I've actually used him before, but it's pretty cool. As I said before, if they're I'm sure I I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. If they're stunned like that, that usually means that you're about to actually capture them. So hit them as fast as you can before they get unstunned because you won't capture them or turn them into a doll or whatever you call it. You want to call it anyways. And here's the boss. Oh, I thought that was something else for a second. I guess not. Alright, let's see what this is. Drill Pokemon, Rhydon. Yeah, I thought it'd be one of them. I just forgot its name, but I knew it was like Rai something. So yeah, let's see how well we can do. I mean, um, oh yeah, this is a ball form of Rhyhorn. I guess I should mention that. Obviously, I mean Rhyhorn, Rhydon. It makes it would only makes sense. Whoa, he does that. Wow, that's kind of dangerous. Yeah, good thing about Seed Bomb too is that you can just like kind of use it and run away, and they'll still hit while you run away, so that's kind of cool. And he killed me. It's no good. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> who to use. Let's use I'm gonna try Krabby. He has a water type move, so why not? Seem to be doing pretty good. And wow, he almost killed me in one hit. That was close. Oh, oh okay, I thought he almost killed me there for a second. I forgot to do that pushback move. And. Ah, oh, almost. Oh, wait. We lost. Well, crap. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well. Huh. I think I'll do the same thing I did with Fiery Furnace. I didn't know we died. Much I guess we did, yeah. Well, that's not good. Um, yeah, we can do the Battle Royale if we want to, but we're not going to. Um. Yeah, I guess next time we'll go back to Rocky Cave and. Go to, I'll leave you off at the boss, so yeah, we'll try that. Well, I'll see you at the boss. Bye.